Me na Aisha Susmai Sisi and today's our network day at the Sierra Leone Police Headquarters concerning the press conference with the Sierra Leone Police Hall. Can we please observe individual silent prayers? Amen. Amen. I am Assistant Superintendent of Police, Samuel Sayobonte, the Deputy Head of Media. In our midst, of course, you can see other personnel and all of those who are in here this afternoon are all from the Media and Public Relations Department. I will start from my extreme right is Edward, of course, an inspector from the Media and Public Relations Department. Next to him is Joseph, sergeant, and right down there, sitting on the table, is Ishmael, one of our audiovisual editors and also our cameraman. On my extreme left, our able, prolific writer and reporter inspector, Salu. On my extreme left, uh, she's a very tantalizing and immaculate smile. <laughs> Alberta, inspector, also reporter, and Inspector Simeon, also our able prolific writer and reporter. Ladies and gentlemen, let me come to the high table. I don't know, as um, hierarchical content and respect is concerned, I will start, of course, though traditionally I, I should introduce the chairperson um, lastly, but mm. we have, as usual, superintendent Brian Makama, of course, everybody knows him, is our media one. The spokesperson for the Sierra Leone Police he is going to chair this very important uh, press conference. And on my immediate right, we have AIG. Of course, he is in charge of all transfers, promotions, and of course, he is here to also make this press conference a success. AIG and Sumana Jaulo Bono. I will now hand you over to the chairperson for this important press conference, Lieutenant Brian Kama. Over to you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my brother, for the introduction. Let me take this opportunity to welcome all of you to this very important press conference. We call it emergency press conference. We do not have Wednesday as a day to hold press conference. Under normal circumstances, we all have press conferences either on Tuesdays or on Wednesdays, or on Thursdays, sorry. But we decided deliberately to have this one today, just after management meeting. And the reason why we are doing this is because we have a responsibility to inform the public about what we are doing. We have a responsibility to, to clear the hair about certain issues you might have been hearing for over a period of time, as the case may be. And um, secondly, uh, I have not had the opportunity to obnub with you for a very long time because of um, the exigency of the job. But thank God we are here today. So basically, this press conference is called to address a misinformation making rounds on social media. Uh, for the likes of you who are ardent followers of social media, you might be on the know that uh, as of the 26th of this month, a particular audio has been making rounds on social media, making wild allegations and, or claims against the police, which are not true. And so, uh, if we allow it to go without any response, there is the possibility that people are going to believe what is there. And so this is why we've said, let us come and talk to the people. Let's talk to the press. By talking to the press, we are talking to the public. Because at the end of the day, whatever we discuss here is going to be out in the public. So this is why we are here. And so therefore, this is why we have made it very possible to have a very senior officer 
within the management hierarchy of the SLP. And um, who is the director of human resource management? And of course, we all know within an organization, the human resource is very important. How do you manage that one? It depends on the knowledge and experience you have, either academic knowledge, either knowledge by way of exposure, or as the case may be. So this is why we have the director of human resource management to help us address this misinformation making rounds on social media. And so what we're going to do to address this one, we're going to play the tape. We play the tape, we listen to it, and then we respond to it. And then we can ask questions. So that's going to be the format. You listen to the audio, your very self. There are too many claims made on that one. And then at the end of the day, we will have to respond to what you've listened to. And then at the end of the day, you can ask us questions with regards to it. So maybe we just start from there. We've been around by three this afternoon and then it's almost going to fall now. So um, Ishmael, um, if you are okay, you can play the tape, play the audio, listen to it, and then we are going to respond. This is the breaking news. The National Campaign Unit for Progress, where people will call NCOP for short, when an appellate body to the All People's Congress Party, APC to be precise. Now they make sure say this breaking news go reach you now. Me where they present the breaking news to now, me now the people's power. Family, today don't be the 26th of October, 2020. Today is Monday. Family, the Sierra police don't bring form what they call the engagement form to the salon police. This re-engagement form, where are they can't tell people about so? Now, see where they happy now, 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 as I speak. If you listen to this message, if they share this message to you, family, make sure, say, you share this message until he reach His Excellency, the President. The SLPP Junta government don't bring calm a form to a police officer's team. Where that form they then call them the engagement form. This news where they can't get to family, so this not correct news, this not confirmed news, this not confirmed news. And if you go to the salon police, you go to the human resource, you will find out say you will get this form. This form here where they can't tell you about so family. Then don't distribute this form now. All the police stations them. All over the country, as I talk to now, now, as I talk to now, now, this not confirm any reliable source. This news where they give now so incorrect. No but in not get me and the people's power. This form where the salon police don't bring through the SLPP Junta government, the one who can pull five thousand police officers. 5,000 police officers and then 5,000 police officers they ask, then they target them at the Northwest. No hard feelings. No hard feelings, Fambulem. 5,000 police officers, now they want can pull. When are active police officers, them. they want to pull them now the police force. And all the people they want to pull so, now people they where they come up from the Northwest. When are Northwestern. And. Now then the SLPP Junta government why use the police for pulling police officers they are so they hold the meeting then the minister where responsible when are the internal affairs minister and the deputy then all this meeting will take all as within the SLPP Junta government and when you listen to this news make sure say you share them make sure say you share them a lot of police officers then day where they serve the police, then nobody's form. Then conscious of this form, then they afraid for talk. Then they afraid for come out and ask questions. Now I make the people's power. They go all out for less yellowness, then get the news they are. The people's power, they go all out for less yellowness, they know what is they happen within the police. Where the SLPP Junta government don't come, don't politicize all the institutions. Them. This is a correct and confirmed source. This is the engagement form where the SLPP Junta government don't bring to the police. This form they tell you, say, you they write your name in the form. The school where you attend, who side and burn you, 
who say you commode, you tribe, what in your medical status, you mama in name, you papa in name, who say them commode, what in your tribe, the woman where you married, how many picking that you get, who say them, who say the woman commode, where you married, what in your tribe, what in your educational background, you they put on this engagement form. This re-engagement form where I get so, you they put and there, where you don't put on this re-engagement form, you they take this form and submit and to the human resource. When you submit and to the human resource, the human resource within 72 hours, then go call you for go do medical, now the police hospital, na in Tom. When you go for go do this medical, if you fail this medical, Fambulem, you were a police officer. You were get brother when a police. You were get sister when a police. You were get mama when papa when a police. If you get your grandpa or your granny when a police. If you get your colleague when a police, when he don't fill this form, then they take this form and then they call you the individual police officer. We don't fill this form. You they put your name, the ear where you enter at the police force. You number, you they put and they. You contact number, then go call you for go for medical. When you go for medical, if you fail this medical, Fambulem, the Sierra Leone police through the SLPP Johnson government, then go terminate the contact as a police officer. This is not fact. Now, now, as I talk to Naso Fambulem, police officers and they papi fill this form now. Now, now, as I pull this breaking news, so now, police officers and they papi fill this form now. Go to the nearest police station. You call any police officer as you listen to this. He will tell you about this engagement form. Now in the SLPP Johnson government don't bring calm. For poor police officers them, when I not turn as them. For poor police officers them, when I say na na na, na western as them. For poor police officers they will come up from the northwest. They say that they target 5,000 police officers them. Will come on at the northwest. Family, and this is confirmed. No hard feelings. The people's power not left for talk about tribe. The people's power not left for talk about region. The people's power na Australian. That's why I not belong to no tribe. I not belong to no region. But this is the hard fact. Family, this is pen me. Where are they see this form? Where I investigate this matter? When I don't go through everything. Family, this is the pen me. I they feel pain. A heart ending. People are don't deny the police force too. We don't want to come and pull them like that. Yeah. That's bad. Who said this country they heading for go? Who said we want for go as a nation? Yes. Ah. Well, this is. Serious, I have to call myself. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. This our uh, new inspector will be number. So I thought I should bring him here. Yes, inspector. You know. You know. Betty, come and sit down. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Members of the four Good afternoon. Uh, can we have it quiet? Today? I'm just going to be very brief, but I thought it's very important that I should come down. Uh, you know, in most cases, the public is accusing the police of wrongdoing because of uniform. Because uh, people wear our uniforms. Sometimes they are not police officers. Any trained police officer who have undergone series of orientations would not want to be in the police attire and go about to commit armed robbery, commit erroneous crimes. 
Hence, the last time I caused the head of media to write out press release for people using police plots. I foresee this kind of situation because sometimes people are calling me that we saw policemen breaking into people's houses to steal. So I began to say, policemen, which type of policemen? I, I am aware if it's a traffic issue that they have collected, uh, traffic misbehavior, money with drivers, I should not argue some of those points. But uh, in most cases, I'm part of. Uh, maybe make a talk this na you so that I <coughs> mean, people them then go able hear it. Because sometimes we then go hold a well that close with FIBA police close, they tell us, say, will they hold you for this? Then we'll take and say, they will police, then they harass we. Look, a uh, gentle, where? Yeah. Look, but, uh, may dress uniform. May, uh, look, I'm telling you. This kind of. If they go to the police station, they make people. Eh? Rema, look, the, look eh, not that one now. Uh, they transfer people. Uh -huh. See, uh, look this. Uh, look, uh, human resource in, 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 in stamp. You, they use this kind of stamp? No, it's a ranch stamp, I know. The HR is using. So, but again, we have to be very vigilant as policemen and women. When people come to our uh, offices, we are quick to say, this is transfer memo. And a smart man can look at it and spy and see, look at it, technological war. Then he can go and do this kind of thing. But what is good about this document is uh, serial number one. First number 11, rank inspector. Yeah, no. uh, inspector don't carry <laughs> number <laughs> again. <laughs> the sooner you've been promoted to inspector, you leave the number behind. It's not like the military, that even if uh, you, well, you go along with the number, no. Uh, inspectors upwards don't carry number. So meaning, he tried, he was very smart, but uh, the all other area, uh, again, at least street police station, no. If we are making transfer, we say Western police station. It, it, you see, these are some of the things. Uh, Moribata police station, uh, JPO crime, no. We will say Rutai police station, Moribata. JPO crime. Uh, you is correct, JPO crime. So, Either uh, uh, with immediate effect, yes, but we will not write it uh, with immediate effect. We will write W I E. Yes. That. So, uh, hence we have to be very, very careful ourselves as policemen and women. There is need to know basis. Even if I like you, if I want this to be public, I cannot give it to you. If you want to copy it, you want to do it. Well, if these are other things that uh, not, could not be uh, uh, copied, internal memos and other things, hence, let me take this. Uh, WhatsApp is not the format of transmitting information in the police. It can aid it, but for example, Memos related to transfers leaves. If I see it on WhatsApp, I tell you the author will be punished. When you publish memos, you are responsible for transfer promotions uh, and some other things. A lot of memos always come from you, HRM. And make sure that's why we are still paying for stationaries. We, we are moving towards paperless, but we are not there yet. So there are certain documents still 
you make sure you publish and send it other than one copy on a go photocopier or on a go snapper send 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 out by so so the criminal you see he's beating our net just because we have been very smart and other people have been very smart they were able to pick up those abnormals abnormalities here because people who knows you they know that one is not your is not your is is not your they know you that that one is not your um, uh, uh, one is not your signature first to start with that's not your signature then two that's not the officer stamp you use otherwise it will have gone through i will have seated there as jpo crime taking reporting cases to him he will be determining a thief will be determining what to do you can imagine what what will have happened the calamity that the kind of disaster you see so yes the one there are two points here one the the criminal two we ourselves we the police if we are not smart or we are not professionally enough we are not equipped professionally they will always beat our time and when our time is beating the populace will suffer and they will now turn not one individual who must have caused that problem but the leadership or the institution as a whole which is not good for us as a family in the security sector i am encouraging the media team to really 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 help us disseminate one to one people to stop using police camouflage if you want to use police camouflage go and join police when recruitment is coming apply when you are recruited you wear it but don't start using the haphazardly we can understand if you are a retired police you are strong enough you have your t-shirt you want to wear that the people know you have been in the police for 10, 15, 20 years. You must have got some T-shirt that you may want to be using there as souvenir. But it's not when you'll be using the uh, the targa trusses or the goose skin or this where people... Be. I, I hope you can help us. Because when it's a little bit difficult, it is you that is turning back to. It's very difficult for a policeman house to be boggled. Because they are always afraid that if he cannot identify them, he, there is likely for him to have a weapon is eminent. But you who are now vulnerable, that do not have weapon, do not have anything that can protect you, it's you that this criminal will now go back to. Hence the reason to form a better synergy with us so that we can, we can reduce them. We will not finish them because they are graduating every day. They are graduating every day into criminality. So let them br bring the inspector, let all of us, let the world see him, that he's been caught, he has run out of luck. It's kind of a trouble, this man. You are at liberty to interview him.
Explain, start for talk. No, go ahead. In a talk. Mama, make up fast so you know we understand each other. Eh? Just tell you no more. You say two years now, right? So now, Bomusa, you start. Bomusa, station. Bomusa, station, you begin. From what time? Police station. From what time? Police station. Okay. Talk about. So how many months or uh, are these or only twenty days? Okay, the one year six, one year two months. One year two months. Yeah. All right. So just explain to me. I was going to make me do it. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm the work as officer. Yeah. Just go ahead. Explain more. Come on. The guy be the operator. Just tell me. Oh, police work, I believe. Police work. Alright, so how many are you do? Okay, okay, I think we have got something. Okay. Uh, yeah, of course, two years. I think that one is that one is standing. Yeah. That one is not bad. Okay. I don't know. 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 I the reason why I want police uniform to be procured by Sierra Leoneans, I want to make my point and listen it and listen it very well. Why I want police uniform to be procured by Sierra Leoneans or people that love Sierra Leone is this reason. I could remember a year or two ago, somebody procured, but he couldn't meet the, either the threshold or whatever happens. And the uniforms came. They were never taken on board to the police store and negotiate whether it was a bad deal, but for those uniforms not to go to the wrong hands because of such reasons. So I, that is hence the reason I have said that most of the uniform that is now being used, I want to see how best we can look at improve on our uniform procurement system. Who can deny that man not to be an inspector of police genuine? Except it's somebody who is very wise. We will be asking him to tell us why he must have got the ranks, the peeps. Why he got the line yard. Uh, why he got the, the crown. The whole thing. But because uniforms are being ordered by people, these are government uniforms that individuals, people cannot just go into procurement process to bring those uniforms. We want people that once they bring the uniforms, the uniforms are so secure in our store that some other person could not get access to them. Very recently, as recent as six, seven months, you can see all those things in the streets. You want them, you will go and buy them in the streets. Uh, it should not be like that. Uh, if we say we want the police to gain a past glory, we must be ready to dress them that can befit their status as state security. Therefore, I am advising all those who are having uniforms that the police can use and befit the purpose, bring them to the police store. We will discuss it and see how best we can keep it. If we cannot buy it all from you, we can keep it. And if people want to buy, they will come to us. 
other than you sell it that we don't guarantee the security of that uniform to fall in the hands of the wrong person. If you do not, beginning from today, then we will execute a warrant, search warrant in your premises. If they are caught, we will charge you for unlawful possession of them. Because by law, it's been designed for the Sierra Leone police. And if you want to use it, you want to make a better use of it, come to the Sierra Leone police, work with them, you do procure with them, you bring it and put it in their warehouse so they will be supplied to people. Then the control of such uniform will be respected. Coming to you, Mr. Number 11, Inspector. <laughs> Inspector. Lee D. Your time is over. You have been doing it. You have been doing a lot of things. Smart police have not been able to see, but you run out of luck. You have transferred yourself to Moriba Town Police Station, where you want to go and operate because you heard that the route of mining is kicking up. I made to understand that you were one arrested in Waterloo to perform a traffic duty and you were charged to court and you were sent to prison and you benefited from the pardon that is my yeah, pres presidential pardon you benefited from it so meaning you did not even suffer you just went there and come out and say you wait I will do better thing than that so the next time you get me you will not pardon me and your time is up. You will be caught. Let me see who is going to pardon you. Because whatever happened now, the pardon list, I must be previewed to look at it. And I have known you. To all those who are in habit of doing that, you will run out of luck one day like him. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Don't disturb the peace of people. If you want to join police, when vacancies are available, we will advance, you will apply. If you meet the criteria, then you will be recruited and you will become a policeman. You will not just come from anywhere and become a policeman. I will ask that the, the media one talk much on this, make a better publication of it. Let it serve as a warning to all potential criminals that will want to do what he has done. And also uh, liaise with the Crime Services Directorate for a proper investigation and check at all the areas that this man, the matters that we have never addressed the last time he was charged for that traffic issue. Let them look for them. Make sure all those crimes we must have committed, I'm sure it came up, but one he was just charged with one. That's why he was not properly sent to jail. Make sure you look for all the crime services and ensure that pro appropriate action is being taken. Get him, him investigated and charge him with appropriate crimes that you may find out during the course of your investigation. I want to thank the fourth estate for their cooperation. Thank you, and uh, let me leave you. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you, sir. So these are for you. Yes. We want to continue. Yes, continue. Firstly, we are grateful that the chief executive of the police was here, and uh, it shows how important this press conference is. And um, this was going to be the second issue, but. Uh, We've now lengthily discussed it, and it came from the IGP instead. So that one is very good, and it's going to form part of the discussions we're going to have here today. Now we have been privileged to listen to the audio. You know, so many things came out of that one. Before we go into the laws, what we have in the laws, let us make some points very clear. Firstly, he said it was the SLPP government that brought the issue of re-engagement. 
we want to categorically say no. The issue of re-engagement has been in the SLP as far back as 1964 when we have the Police Act. So this is why if you read section 14, subsection 1 of the Police Act, it is there stated clearly with regards to re-engagement. And even when I join the police, and whoever joins the police by law, you join the police for a period of six years. And after a period of six years, you are supposed to re-engage to inform management that you are still interested in the job. And it is something you have to do up to the period of 21 years. So it means after six years, in fact, firstly, after completing your training, you have to serve for a probation period of three years. And when you complete your probation, you continue with the other three years. And when you are done with that one, you have to re-engage. Simple process. So the law exists. So it was not like it stated that it was the SAPB joint government that brought the issue of re-engagement. So we do not have SLPP joint government dictating that people should, should re-engage. It's a process within the police and it is a process we have to follow. Secondly, if you listen to the audio, he made mention of the fact that there well, is not even a fact. He said, he made a claim that the plan there is to reduce to redundant 5,000 police officers, specifically coming from the north, northern region, and the western area. You understand? So, we are saying, we need the officers. We just recruited 2,300, between 2,000 and 2,300. And even for the budget we submitted to government, we requested for 1,000 general duty, 1,000 uh, OSDs and even 500, I think, additional 500, 500 special skills, you know, those ones you call carpenters, masoners. So we need officers. How could we redundant 5,000 people? So that one was false, completely, completely false. You know, he also brought the issue of us having a meeting with the minister and deputy minister. Well, we want to make it clear that on, on Wednesdays of every week, we hold our executive management board meeting. We are running a systemic management system whereby we meet, discuss, and take decisions. And those decisions are documented. So we meet on Wednesdays. But the question of having to meet with the minister and deputy minister to hash out a plan to you don't have 5,000 police officers, that one is false, it's malicious, and it's not, it is incorrect. You know, he also brought the issue of um, that people must, must share the video, the audio. You know, um, when you get yourself involved in sharing information that has the tendency to cause disaffection within the state, we are also committing an offence. So now that we've proven that the audio, everything contained in that audio, the only thing that was true is the issue of re-engagement, that we are doing re-engagement. But the other things brought with regards to the re-engagement, we are completely false. Completely false. So this is why we are now here to dispel that information, to provide you with the correct information, and so, if you continue, B, U, A, B, or C, you continue to share this audio, it means you are also committing mm -hmm. offense. When you look at the aspect of law, there is what we call parties to a crime. There could be the person we refer to as the participant criminals, the actual perpetrator of the crime. Mm? But equally so, we have people who play part, like you can incite, you can instigate, you can help, you can... So those ones, if you continue to share, you're also playing a part. 
So you cannot claim what we normally call ignorantial legislation executor. Say I was not uh, an ignorant of law, so it means if you are ignorant of law, there is no excuse. But this time you are not you are no longer ignorant because we are now here explaining that what we had was not correct. It was not correct. He made reference to yes, he said the video the audio is correct and and uh, he was like confirming no, it's not correct. He spoke one thing he spoke about, he spoke about the 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 the, the form itself. He said they're asking for your name, they're asking for the school you attended, your place of birth, your tribe, your your, your medical status. The name of your mother, the name of your father, your wife, your children, how many you have, where they came from, the tribe, education of Bangladesh, those ones are also false. We have the medical form, we have the form here. It is here. All we ask you of your rank. And of course, you cannot refer to me as just Brahma Kamara. You must talk about my rank. I'm a superintendent of police. So my rank is very important. And if you say superintendent, come here. If you are first superintendent, and for here we are two. Eh? He can either go or I go. Or we say, oh, let me they talk. So when you say superintendent, Brahma Kamara, then it means you are specifically referring to me. So the name is very important. He's talking about first number. For some people, they carry first number. If you are a constable, and then you are also a sergeant, you carry number. They identify by your number. 18662. That's your number. And then we talk about PIN number that is the pin code you cannot be a policeman without a pin code even those who are outside and wanted to come into government service they are fighting for pin code so you must have a pin code and that one is very unique to your name division where do you work are you working as a, a cdid are you working at kenema division like this man he was just confusing things that inspector <laughs> instead of talking about uh, water division he spoke about Moriba police station and the LUC is there. Look at the LUC city there. Hmm? You see? And then the dates. <coughs> you know? So those are the information we are requesting for. So you can see that um, what he did was very deliberate. He wanted to confuse the situation. He just wanted to create a situation within the state. So we want to make it very clear. Yes, we are doing re-engagement. The process calls for it. So we are not being told to do what we must not do. We are doing what the law says we must do. And then the law came into being when I was not even born, 1964. The Police Act 1964. And it's very clear, section 14, subsection 1. It is clear. Equally so, if you read uh, the uh, section 12, subsection 1 of Cap 150 of the laws of Sierra Leone, it is also very clear about re-engagement. So it is very legal. So we're talking about legal issues here. You know, so I think I can now invite the director of um, human resource management to probably go through some of the quotations I made with regards to enlistment and with regards to re engagement. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe Law Asimana Bono. I'm AIG, Director of Human Resource Management. Uh, as my colleague, I've just said, Chairman, I've just said, we are law enforcement officers. We are dealing with the law. And with engagement, let me just read the big facts from the Police Act 1964, dated 4th June 1964. General Administration. Every police officer shall, shall on appointment take and subscribe the oath set out in the first schedule. Such oath shall be taken and signed before the commissioner on our present state. Because those states, just that particular time, there was no inspector general police. We had, at that time, we had commissioner. Commissioner was assisting. But now we have inspector general. See, now we're talking about commissioner is replacing inspector general. In the case, in the case of inspector general, the oath shall be taken and signed before the Governor General. So during that period of 1964, very long time. It's the law have been in existence from that time, imagine, 1964. Enlistment and service of constables. 
Every constable shall be for a Lisbon signed an attestation of paper in the form of a second schedule and shall on appointment be en enlisted to serve in the force for six years or such period as may be, fi be fixed by the minister. To be reckoned to in, in uh, cases from date on which he has been approved for service and taken on the strength. For the first time, three years of service, a constable shall be on probation, and if during that time he shall be found to be unfit for his duties, he shall be thereupon he ceases to belong to the force or have any claim against the force except for any pay which may be due to him when he or she ceases to belong to the force. Provided that for the first six months of service or within the, until he has successfully completed a period of training, a constable shall be considered a recruit and shall withdraw such pay as may be laid down for a recruit. Then declaration of constable re-engagement. Any constable, any, section 41 of the police act, any constable of good character who has come to complete or is within six months of completing his period of enlistment may, with the approval of the commissioner, in our case here now, in the approval of the inspection of police, be re-engaged to serve for subsequent period of three years until he has completed a total of 21 years service recording from the time of his enlistment. A constable who so re-engages shall make before a senior police officer the declaration set out in the first schedule. And we also sent in together just the enlistment. The enlistment form have been read and be discussed and then we have the the oath. Yes, America, the oath. The oath paper. So the oath paper and then you have the medical test form. So the three forms are. Then we have the other part of the first, for the first time the order, I just complete this part for re-engagement. So from this one, it's from the first time the order, edited 2204. The first time the order, edited 204. For re-engagement. So let me give you the, 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 the oath. The oath you take the as a constable. Take. Yes. Say I, if I'm Brahma Kamara, I do hereby solemnly and sincerely declare that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II Queen. Now we're talking about the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone mm? and the government of Sierra Leone in the office of constable for a period of six years and for such other period or periods as I may re-engage to serve that I will obey all lawful orders of the said government mm. and the officers placed over me and subject myself to all acts and rules relating to the other police now in force or which may from time to time be in force. So this is all to take. So you see they spoke about re engagement And during the press conference we see also the AIG talk about issues surrounding the police as they get a suspect we claim say in a police officer and the police be done all that suspect say and also the head of media and the Sierra Leone police talk about the audio where they go on a social media we talk about the re-engagement form as a game as a light more about what in the re-engagement form they about and say the audio na fake Mina I start to smile say until we meet again to another press conference where the police go call I say tata